Okay, I've got one directly here from Nicholas Underwood. Okay, okay. from our YouTube comments. From our YouTube comments. He says, what exactly is the difference between socialism versus democratic socialism versus social democracy versus market socialism, etc.? Okay. I have no idea. Okay, so this is a hard one, and so... Mm, it's not... It's not a complete question. Okay. It is difficult to compare those four things that you've mentioned. Without some w- point of comparison. Without points of comparison and without sort of bringing in other topics. Okay. The problem is, is that in order to address all of them, you need to basically assess a full spectrum of things. Okay. Um, however, mm-hmm. because of that, I don't think that there's really a great way to phrase that question. Right. Um, Can you do it with cows? I will do the cow <laughs> allegory soon. Um, I've got to consider that, though. Um, so, I think the best way to answer that question is to fundamentally look at the difference in perspective between different praxes, uh, yeah, back. Um, the the different perspectives of different praxes toward the value and the purpose of socialism. It's cool. It's the people's cat. Don't worry. Yeah, about it. yeah. Um, and really, the stronger forms of socialism, um, the things that I typically am talking about whenever I mention socialism. Mm-hmm. They look at socialism as a sort of way of life, a way of thinking, um, and a a solution to problems. Mm -hmm. Whereas um, other systems of social democracy, democratic socialism, they don't tend to think of, um, they don't think of their, their nations, their experiments as socialist in the broad sense. They tend to think of socialism as a tool. Okay. Uh, so, for example, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, they, those places are strong social democracies, mm-hmm. which are functionally capitalist systems that use socialism as a tool to act as a, um, a, an umbrella, or sorry, a parachute, a fail-safe, in mm-hmm. order to protect people. Okay. Um, they are typically uh, what we would call welfare states or nanny states. Um, but they are fundamentally capitalist I've systems. I've only ever heard the word nanny state come from ironic people or people who are saying it who hate women. I've never heard it used by anybody who doesn't hate women unless they're using it as a joke. Uh, usually, yeah, usually we will use it as a joke um, because it's, it's, it's kind of dumb. A nanny state is typically a very good state compared to the alternative, uh, which is places where, you know, people are left to fuck one another over. Hmm. Um, but anyway... The, the idea is that these are typically capitalist systems okay. that use socialism as a tool to solve individual problems. It's their backup plan. Yeah, yeah. Or at least it's, um, it's one of the things that's in their, their kit. It's, okay. um, so you have a capitalist system, but people need health care, and we know that for-profit health care is just not a very good system. It's murder. It is murder. Uh, for-profit health care is garbage. It's horrible. And anyone that advocates for it is is basically a bad complicit person. Complicit in murder. Yeah, they are complicit in murder. Uh, That's so, the thing I have strong opinions about. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so in a social democracy you might enact universal health care, not mm-hmm. because you're a socialist nation, but because you're using a socialist idea um, to solve a problem that capitalism cannot address. And that's Japan, right? Yeah, Japan is Japan is typically a capitalist system with strong aspects of social democracy. Okay. Um, and a lot of these countries do pretty well. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, this comes back to the problem of you can't reform capitalism into not being capitalism. Yeah. Um, unless you get rid of capitalism completely, you are going to have a lot of the problems that capitalism brings up. Okay. Um, so then what... Okay, so then what's democratic social... No, wait, wait. We got that one. What's social democracy? They're basically the same thing. Democratic socialism and social democracy are, are functionally the same. Okay. Um, democratic socialism is um, a more popular modern term, um, but they, they basically mean the That's same thing. That's another one to avoid the word communism because it's scary. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Socialism is scary too, so we're moving on to the next one. Well, yeah, that's um, and that was a that was the popular Bernie Sanders thing. Right. Um, whenever people would accuse him of being socialist or being communist, he'd be like, "No, I'm a 
social democracy or a, a, a democratic socialist. Uh, uh, and it's just it's just word salad. Sure. Okay, so then what's market socialism other than sound stupid? <laughs> Again, market socialism is actually talking about pretty much the same thing. Okay. Um, we are talking about socialism that um, that seeks to be used to reform a bit of capitalism. Okay. Market socialism is about um, enacting, for example, price limitations uh, or um, either on the high end or the low end okay. um, in order to guarantee access or guarantee supply. Okay. Um, it is using socialism as a tool to um, step in, to intervene in uh, supply and demand. Mm. Um, because as it stands, supply and demand can be dangerous. It can leave people behind. So so you've hinted at this a couple of times, and I just want to like just straight out say it. Yeah. Socialism is not... Is only real... As far as your opinion goes, mm -hmm. socialism is only really a stepping stone. Yeah, um... In Marxist thinking, socialism is a stepping stone. Um, basically, you have your late stage capitalism, um, which everything is sort of falling apart. It, it, power is going into the hands of the few. Um, socialism is is a method of bridging the gap between the 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 garbage fire and something better. Okay. Um, and according to Marx, mm -hmm. um, socialism is a step toward communism. It is it is sort of um, it is the pathway to get where we need to be. Okay. Because um, he doesn't believe you just go from... Point A to point communism. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no... Yeah, you don't go from point A to point communism. Mm -hmm. um, Unless there's a big dramatic upheaval and that's the non-violent route. Or well, that's the violent route. Actually, actually, um, in Marx, um, mm -hmm. the upheaval will bring socialism. Okay. Um, but the thing is, is that socialism, uh, in, in socialism... You are seizing the means of production. Right. Um, you are making demands of power, mm -hmm. uh, and you are basically taking power. You okay. are demanding power, right. um, and in doing so, you you are throwing the chips on the table. Mm -hmm. um, you're sort of letting them fall where they may, mm -hmm. and then we are dealing with that because we're going to have immediate needs. If you mm -hmm. take the farms, how do you handle food distribution? Mm -hmm. Um, and so socialism is what we do in order to accommodate that mm -hmm. uh, until such a time that we can organize successfully mm -hmm. and bring about a further system, a communism. Okay. Do, you, uh, do you think socialism is inevitable? I think that um, that's a really good question. Should we do that as a separate one? Um, yeah, I think that that's a separate one. Okay, so we'll set that up for a second, second one. All right. Okay. Nice question, Nicholas. Thank you.